Well, I'm screwed. If it helps, it'd just be popcorn. <laughs> Popcorn's not gonna... Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You know how Mommy put me in charge of planning Megan's birthday party? Well, my entertainment just fell through. My SpongeBob got caught pulling down his square pants. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And now all they have left is a little mermaid who had to be pushing 50, and let's just say her shells were hanging a little low. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'd always take the bet that I'm not. What about the clown? For the party? Oh, I don't know. Isn't he, you know, dying? Well, when's the party? Sunday. You should be fine. I don't know, Marn. Oh, it kind of makes sense. You need a clown. He needs, you know, a reason to live. It's kismet. Go, go, go. <clears throat> hey, uh, clown. <laughs> Listen, um, I'm organizing a party for one of the kids I nanny, and I need a performer. What does it pay? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> and if you want balloon animals, I'm gonna need... <coughs> balloons. Just to be safe, you may want to push the party up a day. <laughs> this party's gonna kill me. I went to 20 bakeries and finally found a nut-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, carb-free, fat-free, vegan soy cake, but apparently it's not kosher. <laughs> so, it's either back to the drawing board or find a rabbi to bless this thing by the Sabbath. <laughs> and now you're on oxygen. Well, that's just great. Here. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> it's open! Hey, uh, Marnie here? She's in her room! <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna hold that thing all day, or are you gonna let Papa have a taste? <laughs> Can you believe Nate? He expects me to end a two-year relationship just like that. Yeah, Mar. Rail's not real. I know, I just... Damn it, clown! How many times do I have to tell you to pick up your shoes? You live in the closet, it's not like you don't know where they go. You're not my mother. <sighs> Nate's just so stubborn and bossy. He was really bossy me like that. Yes, they are very different. Look, Martin, what's going on here? Are you getting hinky about Nate? No, God, I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay, okay, let's work it through. All right, now, on this side, we have Raul. He is foreign, low maintenance, and not bossy. Okay, and on this side, we've got Nate, who is real. I know, and I love that about him. It's just that I've gotten strangely attached to Raul. I guess he's just always been there as a fallback, you know? And if I let go of him, then what? Well, then you just have Nate, who, as I've previously stated, is real. <laughs> right. You're right. This is silly. Why is he even putting up with this? I should call him right now and tell him... <laughs> oh, my God, are you okay? No, I tripped over the clown's... Stupid bike! <laughs> <laughs> Marnie, I got Tessa's message. Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't hurt that bad. But don't say anything. I'm trying to score some Vicodin. <laughs> I I'm sorry about no, 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 what it's... No, 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 no. It's my fault. I'm sorry. All right. You guys probably want to be alone, so I'm going to go get a little air. So how much for a little air? Um, just so you know. Okay, clown, half the kids are hopped up on cake, the other half are running low on Ridlin. Let's get this show on the road before everybody crashes. It's... <coughs> <laughs> Shh. 
Showtime. <laughs>